It's time for another adventure. Okay, so me and Zeus are heading out to uh, Marion Lake. We're gonna do an overnight camp, backpack into it. Um, gonna be testing out uh, quite a few new pieces of gear that I got from Outdoor Research, one of my favorite new brands, specifically uh, one of their rain jackets. So uh, if that's something you're interested in seeing, stick around. Okay, we're heading up 22, going through the canyon here. Um, this goes through DeSantiam Pass. We are almost to Detroit. Um, it's raining pretty good now, which is good news. We'll be able to test out that new Outdoor Research Gore-Tex rain jacket, give it a good, nice test. like one of the gateways to like Eastern Oregon. Sisters, Ben, all that recreation up here. So it's just always tons of people coming through here. We just made our turn off, uh, 2255. You can see uh, the river right there that's coming from Marion Lake. And we're gonna head down this road for about five miles. Uh, it says on the, the right up on this, and then that should be the trailhead. So, awesome. Okay, we made it up to the trailhead. Got a little bathroom here, parking lot. Small parking lot. Maybe it says 12 to 13 cars. That'd probably be pushing it. Okay, let's go over here to the trailhead. Zeus is pulling me around. I got his leash. I'm probably gonna take him off leash. Let's we'll see. Yeah, all the traditional signs. Let's see here, let's look at this map. I got a map on my phone, but it's always kind of nice to look at these little maps at the trailhead. So let's see if I can get any type of mileage. Let's see, trailhead. Hmm. Okay. Uh, doesn't really give me mileage. Does it's not far though for sure. A couple miles tops. Alright. It's starting to just kind of rain just a little bit. Not not a lot, but it's nice and cool out. Feels like it's probably about 50 degrees. Tomorrow's supposed to be sunshiny. Got Zeus, his little sweater on him. He's a short hair, so. He kind of gets cold a little easier. I'm going to get him some kind of a synthetic jacket, but I haven't got that yet, so I'm just kind of using what we got. So he's he's looking a little preppy today. Okay, we hit our first sign, Mount Jefferson Wilderness, Willamette National Forest. Looks like a pretty new sign, probably installed this year, or last year maybe. Trail conditions, very nice, it's like walking in the park. Check out this tree, man, that's an old growth. Woo, that's a big one. 
crazy comes my dog you can see how big it is compared to him first little creek very nice across the trail creek crossing oh <laughs> not much of a creek crossing really all right back on the trail Wow, there are some massive old growth trees up here. That This one that's fell over the base of this sucker, it's probably almost twice around as my car. It's freaking huge. Here's another one right there, another big one. Another massive one here. It's crazy, they're huge. Very gorgeous area. Wow, check out that plant. I don't know what that is, but it's like something you see back in the dinosaur days. This is huge. There's another one. Just hit another sign, Marion Ann Lakes, and they just kind of give you the regulations of what's going, what's um, allowed around the lake. Um, no fires, uh, limits on diet, uh, livestock, fire ban, of course, day use areas, and all that good stuff. So I must be getting close. Okay, it's starting to rain more now. Um, I think we're getting close to the lake. Um, see a big rock structure up here getting rocky in the trail. I can hear water over here on the side coming down creek. So I'm sure that's run off from the lake. Um, we, got, we haven't seen Ann Lake yet, so I'm assuming that's the first. All right, keep heading down that trail. Okay, I'm assuming this is Ann Lake, the smaller one. I know it's definitely not Marion because I know that one's bigger. I remember going to that one. Kind of just a small little lake. Beautiful colors out here. Nice fall. It is fall of 2019, October. All right, I'm gonna keep heading to Marion Lakes. I think we're gonna be there shortly. Wow, this is even a better shot of Allen Lake. You can kind of see a little bit more, all the colors, some lily pads down there. Very nice. It's gorgeous up here, amazing. Perfect weather to be hiking in. Just lightly sprinkling, cool temps, nice. All right, we got Junction here. Um, Marion Lakes Trail, that way, which we will be going. 3436 and then 3495 that way Marion Outlet Trail and then that's kind of just a connector trail to some other trails that go in that direction. All right well let's get down to this lake. Okay so here's the lake sun just kind of broke out you got all this beautiful colors look at this amazing you can see up there in the hill areas there is a touch of snow up there where that burn is up in there it's really cloudy today but i believe from this lake if i remember correctly you get like three finger jack in the background so we'll see what that's like tomorrow. It's supposed to be nicer tomorrow. There were some campsites down over here in the trees. <coughs> Excuse me, kind of down towards the lake. So I might go check those out, see what's down there. Um, or I'll just keep skirting around the lake until I find something that I like. Well, this'll do. Went to the sites back over there at that first spot and there were signs all over saying recovery area. So I'm, they're just trying to keep people out because it's been overused. So it came down to this little next area here. 
and come right down here by the uh, lake and there's a big old flat spot up here at the top. We'll walk it up there and I'll show you guys around really quick. Just walk this way. So up here at the top, we have a big, big area. Lots of opportunity to set up tents, whatever. You could have a ton of people in here. And the lake is right down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up my gear. I brought um, Hennessy hammock um, tarp. I like to bring it to kind of create an awning. And then I got a, uh, uh, I think it's Six Moons, Six Moons Designs um, Lunar Solo that I used on my PCT hike. So it's a single wall, and that's kind of one of the reasons I brought um, my Hennessy tarp, just to maybe cover over that, just in case it gets really, really raining. I'm not sure how well that'll hold up. I haven't tested it in the rain yet, so we'll see what happens. Okay, got the shelter set up. Hennessy hammock tarp on top. Six Moons Design Lunar Solo. Um, got my water purifier just kind of hanging up over here. Sea Knock Outdoors, just purchased that one at PCT Days. Okay, down in here, got all my gear set up. Um, Outdoor Vitals Pillow, Outdoor Vitals uh, Summit 30 down bag, and a climate. Um, pad kind of got all my gear kind of just lined up here um trail beer you can see that down there gilgamesh mamba one of my favorite beers local brewery in salem and everything else is just kind of loaded up in there you know everything that i need all the miscellaneous things it's kind of dark over here where i'm at i'm underneath the tree cover a little bit you can see the lake down there um, the open area over there, I didn't want to go over there just in case it rains. Plus there's a, if you see that dead tree right over there in the center, it's kind of a widow maker and I didn't want to be anywhere near that. So <clears throat> set up over here. It's a little uneven ground, but it's not bad. I got my feet face down hill, my head uphill, and it's just a little bit slow, but not bad at all. Okay. Well, I'm going to start doing some cooking I do a late lunch. Um, I'm not even sure what time it is right now. I, roughly, it's probably got to be about 3.30 or so. Um, anyways, we will talk to you in a little bit. Okay, going to cook up some lunch. We're going to have some shrimp-flavored ramen noodles. And I'm going to toss in some albacore white tuna into that. Um, cook system for this trip. Uh, we're doing the Esbit alcohol stove. So I had a whole bunch of this alcohol left over and I ran out of my canister stove um, fuel. So I figured I'd just take this. So let's get this cooking. This takes a while. That's the only downside of alcohol. It just kind of takes a little bit longer to cook, but it still works the same. And what else do I got to do up here anyways? We're up here to chill out, so time ain't no thing. <clears throat> right, it's not raining anymore. Um, it's been uh, kind of calm out here. I haven't seen anyone. I'm the only one up here. Other than at the trailhead, I saw two guys come up really quick. Um, they kind of just looked at the trailhead map and then took off, so... But other than that, I haven't seen anyone. There's was like three other uh, three other cars at the trailhead, but I haven't seen anyone. I haven't seen anyone camping, walking on the trail, or anything. So kind of nice. Zeus has been like checking out the lake. I don't know if there's someone down on the lake or something, but he's been kind of like smelling something. I don't know what it is. So I haven't seen any animals or anything like that. So who knows what? It's kind of like my early warning system.
right, Zeus? <laughs> Come here, dog. Come here, dog. What you doing? Hey, buddy. He's got his little wool vest thingy on here, keeping him warm. He's pretty beat up. He's pretty hard on his, stu his stuff. I want to try to find some kind of a either synthetic or down like vest or coat he can put on because he gets he gets kind of cold at night if it's getting chilly so I did bring him a nice little blanket that I'm gonna put him inside of when we're car camping I just uh, I bring a, I've got a green um, wool blanket I bring for him and when we go on the rooftop tent and just hook him up in that so and he loves that he loves being in blankets he's such a, he's a cuddly little dog he likes to cuddle. My daughter sleeps with him every night. He like sleeps with her in his bed, in her bed. <coughs> I mean, it's a good boy. He's, we got him when he was, I believe six weeks old and he is a little over two years old now. So I think he's about two and a half. So he's a lot of energy, a lot of energy. Um, but it's, he's a lot better now. He, he can mellow out when he needs to mellow out. Before it was just go, 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 go all the time. But when we're out here, he just, he just loves it. He just runs all over the place and gets lots of exercise and then he crashes at night, so, which I like. Don't have to worry about him keeping me up at night. He's definitely a hard sleeper. <laughs> what do you smell, doggy? What you smell? What is it? What is it? Yeah, I know. This guy's still going. Yeah, it's going. So, uh, this uh, rain jacket from Outdoor Research. Um, really like the colors. It's like a dark green and kind of a, a burnt orange. I love burnt orange and, and green is like my favorite color. So it uh, shedded off the uh, um, rain very well. Um, Gore-Tex, it's really kind of a lightweight and then it's got a nice little liner. I'm gonna do a full, I'll do a full review on this um, after I use it for a little while and really test it out. The only thing that I did notice, which is really common for, uh, for rain jackets is just, um, you know, the sweat <laughs> it doesn't breathe so well it is Gore-Tex so it just you know you get a little bit of sweat build up when you're you know you're um you know hiking and stuff like that I do have another one of their rain jackets that I uh that I bought it's supposed to breathe a little bit better better I mean uh, and I haven't tested that one yet um I've worn it around it's really it's lighter weight it's more stretchy uh, material on the outside um so apparently what I've heard is it's, it's good for um, light showers. It's not like good for full rain, um, but it breathes better. So we'll see what happens with that one. Okay, got, finally got it done. Um, got the tune in there. Smelling really, really good. Took probably about 10 minutes to cook this guy. So, but I'm gonna get to it. it. Smells delicious. There he is. What's up, buddy? Did you smell that? Mmm, yummy. What's that? You want some tuna? Get you some tuna. It's hot. Hot. Hold on. Oh, let me get it. Gotta cool it down. Ooh, hot. Wow, it is amazing out right now. This lake is just calm. This nice lighting right here, it's kind of muted lighting. Looks really good. Got a couple of good pictures um, of the kind of backdrop. I wish it was a little bit less cloudy on the top of the mountains there so I could get um, the top peak areas. Maybe see some more of the snow. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, 
I'm hoping I can see um, Three Finger Jack. Um, I may have to get down at that end of the lake. So, and then um, there's two falls up here. Um, I'm gonna go visit those in the morning too. Um, on the way out, I'm hoping the weather holds and it's nice I can get some really good uh, pictures and maybe a little bit of footage of the waterfalls. I filled up my uh, Seanock Outdoors water bag when I was down there. Um, I just got this thing at PCT Days. I originally was um, made aware of them by um, Hike Oregon. Um, Francisca on her channel, she um, did a review on these. So it's pretty sweet. This whole back end opens up and then you can put it in and just kind of drag water into it. It's a lot easier to do that than these little Sawyer minis because it only has the screw on top opening. So this is just amazing design. It looks very heavy duty. Um, and water filled in it great. So I do have a regular Sawyer um, filter coming that I ordered. These Sawyer Minis, they're, the flow rate's not great on them. Even after you kind of uh, backwash them through, then there's they still just don't flow very well. But this bag is very nice. The only thing that I had an issue with um, when I first tried to unlock this thing, there's a little plastic piece that goes from here to here that um, keeps this little seal piece with the bag so you don't lose it. And that thing just broke right off. So I just put paracord on there and then put a carabiner on. Um, I am eventually gonna set up some kind of a drip system for this and it's perfect for it. So yeah, liking this thing a lot. If I had to, I guess, tell them one thing on the review, I would say change that little deal from here to here. It's a good design to keep that attached to it, but the little plastic piece that they're using just I snapped it just by, I mean, it just barely put any pressure on it. So maybe do something more like a bungee cord or a paracord type thing. Um, so it doesn't break so easily. Gonna drink my Mamba here. Uh, it's about 6.30, starting to get dark. Uh, heating up, after I drink this beer, I got, um, some hot apple cider I'm gonna drink too. A couple of uh, payday candy bars, dessert, and then uh, probably just head off to bed. Zeus is over, kind of laying down. He's all tired now. I'm running around, so. Get all that taken care of, and then I think we'll just jump into the tent and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's uh, about 7.30 on Saturday. Just got up, um, heating up some uh, water. We're gonna I'm gonna have some hot cider this morning. I did not bring coffee on this trip, unfortunately. <laughs> just didn't have any instant stuff on hand and this was a pretty quick trip. Just kind of didn't really want to go shopping for it. Just taking what I had at my house, so. Um, it got pretty cold last night. I was warm, but the dog got a little cold. Um, I ended up having to open up my sleeping bag and kind of try to get him in there with me. Um, he was kind of shivering slightly most, most of the night. And then I woke up and I found that he was doing that even after I covered him with my blanket and some of my miscellaneous clothes that I wasn't wearing. But uh, once I got him in the sleeping bag with me, uh, he, he was fine. So gonna heat this up and then have some breakfast. I did uh, bring some bacon up on this trip since the cold weathers, you know, it won't spoil. So um, gonna head down to the water here um, while this water's boiling and I'll take you down there and show you the lake. Oh yeah, it's a much better day. So uh, no clouds today. You can see Three Finger Jack right over there um, and it is uh, snow covered and then just kind of the rest of the little peaks around. Very nice out. That's an amazing view right there of that mountain. I've actually been on the other side of that. There's um, to, the, to the left and down, there's a meadow over there um, that you can um, go and get to. It's called Park Meadow. 
it's a gorgeous place to go camping and stuff like that. Well, backpacking, you're not camping there. You gotta hike in. Look at all the colors, pretty amazing. I'm glad I got this beautiful weather today. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to see what the waterfalls look like too over there. Nice. It's pretty steep coming down this trail. It's a kind of a steep descent down, but um, it's all nice and clear. It's not overgrown or anything. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this bacon cooking up here. I got like a little uh, blob of it I put in here in this little suction bag thing. Uh, alcohol stove still going. Bunch of bacon. Zeus is gonna love this too. It's probably have to cook a couple batches since it's in a pot, not really a pan. But it'll work. Just have to keep stirring it around. Yeah, my apple cider is getting here. Ooh, still hot. Let's see if that's. I don't want to burn my lip. Yeah, that's a little too hot yet. We'll let that sit a little longer. Oh my goodness, that bacon smells amazing. That's gonna be so good. Can't wait. So probably just gonna get breakfast, um, hang out here for a little while, and then um, break everything down and head over and try to find these waterfalls. So I think I'm gonna try to get out of here probably by noon at the latest, and then that'll get me home probably around two. It's roughly about an hour, 45 minutes, two hours from my house from here. Oh. Came down to get a couple of pictures. See all the mist coming off the lake there. It's pretty neat. Amazing day. I'm glad I came out. Okay, camp's all broken down. Got everything back in the bag. Um, all loaded up. So let's go find these falls. You ready, Zeus? Yep. Came down to the bottom of the lake. I'm gonna cut through the trees here. You can see all those pretty colors. You can, so you can see the uh, the mountain and the full lake. Oh yeah. There it is. Marion Lake, Three Finger Jack. You got all the like, steam coming off the lake. Very nice, perfect day. These colors are just amazing. The camera doesn't do it justice, but got the sun shining through these trees. The lake's right in the background there. Just yellows, oranges, bright colors everywhere. Fall, I think, definitely is my favorite season. So beautiful. Okay, signs and a bridge. Let's see what we got. It's a big intersection here. <laughs> Nice bridge, water flowing. I'm assuming that goes to the waterfalls. Um, oh, day used to be on this point. Okay. What does this say? Okay. Marion Lake Outlet Trail, back where we came from. This process bridge, Blue Lake Trail. So that will have to be an adventure for another time. So I'm assuming this way is going to be where the waterfalls are and they say this whole little area right in here is day use only so it looks like they're kind of trying to keep 
things low traffic around here because I think it's probably gotten abused. A lot of the areas I've seen where there people have camped, they have um, kind of restricted it now. So that one spot that I found earlier was the only spot that I've actually seen that's not restricted so far, other than a couple few little small spots. All right, let's keep heading this way. So there's a little trail down here. I'm gonna hike down to it. It's right now um, next to the river. It looks like there's a camp spot down there. I wanna check it out just in case I come up here again. Um, I have another spot that I know that I can go to. This one's actually right next to the river, so. Okay, so this is a spot. They just have a no campfire sign and there's the river right there. It's got a few little flat spots, you know. If you're backpacking, I think it'd be a pretty cool little spot kind of be right along the river. Um, although access to it for water is not so great. It's really steep down. Um, there's a little trail that goes along right here. I'm going to follow this for a little bit. Maybe that'll lead to the top of the waterfall. If not, then I'll just go back and hit the main trail. So I made it back to um, Ann Lake. Um, did that entire loop, that Marion loop that go kind of goes around and wraps back to this trail. Um, I did not see any marked areas where it said to waterfall. I hit two offshoot trails, followed them for quite a while. They never went to any waterfall. And I'm really back to the trail that I came in yesterday on, and I didn't see anything here. So I'm not sure if it's just something that's just hidden and not marked. Um, I'm going to try to look on the way back um, a little bit harder, see if I see anything on this trail that I missed yesterday. Um, so I may or may not see the waterfalls, we'll see. Okay, so we didn't make it to the falls. I talked to a gentleman on, um, on the way back down. It said, he said it took him five times to find the falls. So I don't feel so bad about that. I do know they're there though. I had a friend take me up there. He was very familiar with the area and we found them, but they, they're just not marked. So anyways, I'm thinking on coming back up here in the late spring uh, when there's a lot of water flowing through here and uh, just spending some time up here and just finding them. So anyways, uh, thanks for joining me and uh, we'll see you on the next one.